Hello once again, it's Buffalo66 and I'm back with another handicapping video for you. You may know me from my Twitter page, Buffalo Hold'em. And we also post these videos on Ocelot Sports. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like. Uh, well, we're back with uh, uh, the second half of the baseball season. Uh, I haven't had a play since Sunday. Uh, we split on Sunday. We finished 5-4 and four on video picks last week. Uh, I've already put up a CFL video for this weekend if you haven't looked at that yet. But... Uh, I'm ready to ta tackle baseball today, and uh, I've kind of decided that I'm going to concentrate on uh, totals and money line parlays uh, for the time being. They seem to have worked very well this month, so uh, I don't really see anything on the total side today that I'm interested in playing, uh, but the, the two games I'm going to look at today are uh, we have the Indians at Detroit, we have Detroit as a one-run favorite, and we have uh, the Astros at the Chicago White Sox. And we have the Chicago White Sox as a 1.75 run favorite. So let's go over to covers. And let's look at these games. And I'm going to start with the uh, – I'll start with the White Sox. Why not? Uh, you've got the uh, Astros with a 19-28 and 28 away record. And the White, uh, White Sox are winners at home. And it's Scott Feldman against Quintana. Now, both, both of these pitchers have uh, had their struggling moments – during uh, the season so far. But Quintana's actually pitched well recently, and uh, Feldman has struggled. And if you look at the home away splits, you can see that the White Sox uh, have been outscoring the Astros, and they've been out pitching the Astros as well. So that favors uh, the White Sox. If I go into uh, Feldman's uh, splits, you're going to see in his last three he struggled, and away, even though the ERA is low, his team's one and six when he started on the road, and they're four and eight when he started at night. So, uh, uh, Quintana splits are better. They're not outstanding, but they're much better than that. So, I like the White Sox getting it done here. And then we're going to go on the money line, of course. And then we're going to see Cleveland at Detroit, and it's uh, uh, Trevor Bauer against Anibal Sanchez. And Bauer has actually pitched well in his recent uh, three. Uh, however, if you look at the last five, you're going to see the Tigers. They finished up strong. They outscored the Indians, outpitched them as well, about a run differential on each. Anibal Sanchez uh, is pretty good at home. Uh, he, he's been average in his last three, but they've been able to, to give him run support. And if you look at Bauer's splits, uh, you're going to see the same kind of thing you saw with Feldman. Again, his last three were very good. Uh, but away, uh, his team's one and four when he starts on the road. And they're only 3-3 three and three when he pitches at night. And his, his ERAs on away and night games are much higher than the standard. So uh, we like that on the money line as well. So let's go to the sports book and let's see what we got. I have the parlay listed right here. I'm going to take Detroit money line, parlayed with Chicago White Sox money line. And that gives us a payout of plus 163. So that's our only baseball play today. Tigers, White Sox, money line parlay, plus 163. So let's get a winner. And uh, keep this uh, week going in the right direction, and I'll be back soon with another video for you. Take care. Enjoy the games.